You know, the goal of every small town Quebecer in the 1940s and 50s was to make the NHL. To make it not only the NHL, but make it for the Montreal Canadiens. And this gentleman, although he didn't spend a lot of time uh, with the Montreal Canadiens, he was considered one of the top snipers in the QSHL before he broke through with Montreal in 1954. Now, Andre Corvo, uh, 5'8", 135, one of the smallest forwards in Montreal Canes history, first came to major prominence with the Verdun Cyclones in 1947 in the QJHL. He also played that year with the New York Rovers of the EHL, where he scored his first minor pro game. Goal. Now, between 1948 and uh, 1957, with the Valley Field Braves and then the Montreal Royals, he burned up the QSHL and it went, turned to the QHL with statistics that would stagger the mind if this was a, an NHL player. He had 10 of the most consistent seasons in league history, scoring at least 22 goals in 10 straight campaigns. Now, his rookie year, technically, in 48 for Valley Field, had 53 points in 43 games, including 22 goals. But from there, he won on a tear, ladies and gentlemen. 32, 33, 38, 27, 40, which was in his career year, at 40 and 60 goal games in 53. The call-up year to Montreal, he had 37 goals, 88 points, then 31, 37, 22. Now, in three games in Montreal in 1954, he had one assist. But what what's pretty ironic about uh, this Montreal team, ladies and gentlemen, look on the forward lines uh, for this squad. Let's put this in perspective. He was playing with the likes of Rocket Richard, Boom Boom Jeffrey, Bernard Olmsted, Kenny Mosdell, Jean Beliveau, Elmer Locke, Floyd Curry, uh, and uh, uh, Dick Dick Gamble with also Dickie Moore in the mix. So for him just to play three games with such a big lineup, uh, tremendously amazing. Now uh, Andre, if uh, a lot of people know him in his home region, I think uh, the name still uh, rings the bell. Go uh, what he called Grande Quebec. Uh, born, like I said, born 1928. So by the time he made it to the NHL, he was 26. But to put on a Montreal Canadiens jersey after so many successful years in the Q, what was considered the original Q League, that's where the nickname came from. But uh, Corvo was a tremendous player. But imagine, ladies and gentlemen, 135 pounds. 135 pounds soaking wet. And, you know, uh, they say hometown heroes, there's nothing best describes this gentleman because, uh, like the name Andre Corvo, wouldn't that be beautiful to hear playing with the Montreal Canadiens? But like I said, he couldn't break, the, who could break that lineup? You know, it's almost like the, the Steelers of the, the 70s or the Dallas Cowboys of the uh, 1990s. That was a, a tough lineup. Just on defense alone, a lot of those players could, could double over. Again, uh, we're doing a whole bunch of vintage podcasts with the Montreal Canadiens and Boston Bruins in recent we weeks. If you like what we're doing, give us a like, comment, or subscribe. And as we like to say with the legend of the glorious ones, there are a million stories. And a million stories yet to be told for the Bleu Blanc Rouge. Have a good day. Bye.